In the IELTS reading test, the words and grammar used in the questions are not the same as the words which are used in the text. Let's take a look at an example. Here's how a statement might appear on the question paper. And here is how the same information could appear in the reading text. As you can see, both of the statements have the same meaning, but they're expressed in different ways. This is what we call paraphrase. Paraphrasing includes changes which are mostly to vocabulary or grammar. Let's take a look at some examples of paraphrases with vocabulary. If a word is changed, this can be done using synonyms. Synonyms are words with similar or even the same meaning. For example, important has a similar meaning to essential, and prepare is similar to get ready. Here are some more examples of synonyms used in some of the units in this course. Paraphrase can also mean expressing the same information but using different grammatical structures. Take a look at this simple example and then notice how it's been paraphrased. In this case, active voice has been changed to passive voice and synonyms have also been used. This is just one simple example of grammatical paraphrase. However, in the IELTS reading test, you will find that ideas and information are almost always paraphrased by either changing the grammar or vocabulary or a combination of both.